everyone. Hello, mis amigos. My name is Anna, aka Aquarius del Mar, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make the exomis, which is a Greek article of clothing, well, an ancient Greek article of clothing, worn primarily by men, I believe. Greek clothing is usually made out of a giant rectangle of silk, uh, wool, or linen. The silk was imported from China during the via India during the Hellenistic period, but like that's Anyways, supplies you're gonna need to make your very own authentic exomis. One giant piece of fabric. Like I said, linen, wool, maybe silk. I bought the cheapest fabric they had at the fabric store. Uh, and I'm gonna be using it for this same one for all of these tutorials. Yay! That I'm doing multiple of, that I don't need to do multiple of, I'm only supposed to do one, but I need a good grade because I'm not going to be turning in other projects. Please don't fail me, teacher, if you're watching this. Anyways, giant piece of fabric. Something to pin it with. I'm using safety pins. Those are not historically accurate, by the way. And something to belt it with. I'm using a shoelace, as I am for all of these tutorials. Greek clothing is like, you can just make any piece of Greek clothing as long as you have safety pins, a giant piece of fabric, and a shoelace. It's amazing. Anyways, step one, take your giant piece of fabric, fold it over just like you did with the peplos. If you haven't seen that tutorial, check it out. I'm probably gonna, maybe I'll make a link if I'm not feeling really lazy. Uh, but fold it over. This much, like, I think the peplos one, I thought it was gonna be too big for the peplos, but it wasn't. This is definitely too big for the, Exomis. All right. Take your fabric, fold it in half across your body. Sort same as same as always. Now, but but this time you're gonna pin only one side. Woo! And you're gonna undo that like fold that you made, I guess. Uh, she get. Wee! I can't reach it. Whoopsie doodle. Ah, uh, boop boop doo. Here we go. We got it. We did it. We're doing it. Woo! Can you tell I'm like, I'm tired. I'm really tired. Uh, anyways, um, pin this up here. All right, boom, you got one shoulder nun. And now, instead of doing the other shoulder, like, you know, you did with the peplos, now you just take your shoelace and you belt it. Boom. Done. Easy, right? I know, the Greeks were very, very efficient. Now you can see why this is probably worn mostly by men, because, uh, as you can see, I, as a lady, that, that can slip out any time. I don't think... So, mostly worn by, mostly worn by men, yeah? They wouldn't usually wear a long sleeve shirt underneath. Usually they'd wear, uh, just like underwear, and that's it, which is why they had to have a belt, because otherwise it'd just go woo everywhere. You can see everything. Well, almost everything. So, long story short, boom, here's the Eximus. <laughs>